this project will see us upload some data from a microbit through a computer and up to a cloud database. From that database, we can then download that data into any internet connected device, be it an app, be it a, a Raspberry Pi, or in this case, we're just going to use another microbit to demo it. At a top level overview, what this project is doing is it's reading an input from the microbit, in this case, the temperature, which you can see going across the screen of the microbit. It's reading it into the serial port of the PC. A Python program is picking up that data and it's transferring it up to a database in the cloud uh, using Google Firebase, which you can see on the right hand side of the screen there. So that's the first part of the project. So the second part of the project is to read that data back down. Now in this case, I have a different microbit running different code and my Python code is pulling down entries from the database and relaying them out over the serial connection to the different microbit. The microbit, as you can see, is displaying the temperature. So in effect, what the project is doing is it's allowing two computers, but also two microbits to communicate over the internet using the Firebase database as an intermediary. Now this leads to all sorts of different projects you can make. You can make a cloud-based game, you can obviously store data and send data, such as the temperature between two remote locations. You could do things like automate a switch or create some sort of Internet of Things prototype. So hopefully in a later video, I'll be able to demo some of the projects that you could actually use this system for creating. But for now, we're focused on building the underlying, I suppose, connections and infrastructure that we can build more complex programs on top of later. Just in terms of the microbit, it's pretty straightforward. Um, when I plug in my microbit into my laptop, Peter hopefully should recognize it. You make it the screen with the contents and it should work fine, no problem. But to use it with Python, we need to know what COM port it's attached to. So the COM port is like a virtual port. So the computer assigns it a, a number um, and it's gonna be different for most computers that you plug the microbit into. So the easiest way to check it is if you click on your start menu and type CMD to get the command prompt. And in the command prompt, if you type in the command CHGPORT, and that'll come back and identify that COM15 is the port that my microbit is plugged into. Now in some cases, you might have a scenario where the microbit is plugged in but no serial ports are found when you run the chg port command. And what I would advise is to install some serial drivers. Now I've added a link in the description of the video to the serial drivers that have worked for me in Windows 10. Um, you may install them at your own risk, but they definitely worked for me. And when I ran the chg port command again, I was able to see the comms port. One of the biggest obstacles I had in this project was the use of Firebase and Python. As it turned out, later versions of Python had a conflict with the Firebase library. So to get over that obstacle, I had to install a slightly older version of Python to run in these programs. So at the moment you can see I'm using Python 3.7.1 in Thony. So what I can do is I can go to the python.org website, go under Downloads, Windows, and there I'm going to scroll to the last version of 3.6, which is 3.6.8. And if I install the Windows executable installer and just go through that installation on my computer, take note of where it installs the software. Once that's finished, open in Thony again. I can change the interpreter to 3.6 by clicking on Tools, Options, Interpreter, and change it to Alternative Python 3 Interpreter or Virtual Environment. I'm going to locate another python.exe and I know that this file is under the C drive. My installation was in Python or program files x86. And I just look for the Python folder. There it is, Python 3.6 and there's my executable. So again, yours might have installed in a different folder, but once you have that installed, uh, we are now running on Python 3.6.8 and that will work fine with the Firebase library. 
Before we run our programs in Thorn 8, we need to install a couple of extra libraries. So the two main libraries we want to install, we can go under Tools Manage Packages. The two main libraries are Python-Firebase. If you search for that and install it, And the second one we want to install is Pi Serial. P Y S E R A I A L. Oh,